Let's talk about how to go around outside corners with chair rail tiles and with subway tiles. In the situation shown here, we have two standard subway tiles, but you'll notice the corner doesn't look so great because you can see the unfinished edge of the tiles. To avoid seeing that unfinished edge, you want to use a 3-inch bullnose piece. The rounded edge on the bullnose piece creates a nice finished look. One piece will be a standard subway tile, the other piece will be the 3-inch bullnose. Of course, the crack will be filled with grout. This nicely finished look will be used on all rows except for the top row. This is assuming you are building a wainscoting approximately halfway up the wall in your bathroom. On the top row, you'll use a piece that is bullnosed on the 6 inch side. The other piece will be bullnosed on the 6 inch side and the 3 inch side. This is referred to as a corner piece. The final result shows edges that are nicely finished any way you look at it. Sometimes chair rail is used on the top row instead of subway tile. When going around an outside corner with chair rail, there is a special piece that makes this very easy. Make sure you don't drop this special piece, it's easy to break. Doing an inside corner with chair rail is very easy. It just involves cutting a 45 degree angle with a tile saw. Your tile person will not have a problem doing that. 